Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On-Call Compliance Solutions and I'm back with another Compliance Tip of the Week. This week we're talking about CMMC Control CM.L2-3.4.7, Restrict, Disable, or Prevent the Use of Non-Essential Programs, Functions, Ports, Protocols, and Services. Let's get into it. So hey, if you're a defense contractor who's feeling overwhelmed, tired, and alone, trying to understand all the CMMC, DFARS, and NIST SP-8171 compliance stuff on top of an already colossal workload, well, I've got great news for you. You found your home here at On-Call Compliance Solutions, where we can help you transform into your company's on-call compliance hero. Let's jump into it. So in CMMC control CM.L2-3.4.7, restrict, disable, or prevent the use of non-essential programs, functions, ports, protocols, and services. Uh, hey, look, same basic principle about not letting people access files and systems they don't need access to to perform their currently assigned job duties. Let's extend it, all right? Let's also make sure that we eliminate access to any other capabilities that they have, right? So now it's not just accessing, you know, files and things like that. Uh, now we want to just straight up, dis uh, we want to disable their ability to do dumb things. Like that's the, really the best way to explain it, all right? Don't let them have BitTorrent ports open on the network. They don't need it. They don't. You're paying for the bandwidth. Shut it down. All right. Fastest way to get in trouble is leave your front door open at night. Maybe you leave some milk and cookies for the bad guys to come in at the front door. Right. It only works one time a year, guys. That's Christmas. And you have to leave by the chimney. Anyway, uh, the point is, is again, we just really want to be able to restrict and disable anything uh, you know, that would allow someone to get in and do bad things or our people to get out and do dumb things. That's probably the best way to say it. All right. So let's check out what the assessors are looking for on this one, and how to make them happy. First assessment point, determine if essential programs are defined. Oh, is it, we got to define programs. Yes. Essential programs are defined by the IT team. Uh, only the IT team can allow program installation. Right? So that's the first thing. If you're an IT director, okay, the first thing you do is you get in there and you stop people from installing all kinds of rogue software. Okay? Sorry, if you're an IT director to be with, your company's big enough that your people shouldn't just be installing things. They need to be restricted and you need to know what's going on. All right? So essential programs are defined in the baseline configuration documentation, right? And you have that because you have a system security plan and you, well, you have that, right? Of course you do. So again, Baseline configuration is going to determine what the what the programs are that are allowed. You're going to restrict everything else, and then you're going to allow by exception anything else coming in. So that's a great way to do it. All right. Determine if use of non-essential programs is defined. Uh, non-essential programs are not allowed to be installed on organizational systems. Uh, you want to deny all of those. So here's a great example. Okay. Non-essential programs. You know, you may do this uh, with several different methodologies, right? You may do it by restricting by individual program name. We probably don't really need a whole bunch of computer games on here. Uh, we certainly want to eliminate things like BitTorrent, you know, known BitTorrent programs, uh, you know, and things like that. Again, whatever is normal, but you know, at Candy Crush, you probably don't need Candy Crush except for the CEO. He can go into a DMZ and do whatever he wants, but everybody else, no Candy Crush. So again, they want you to prove uh, you know, via, via showing them, you know, firewall, you know, configurations or whatever it is that non-essential programs are defined. Maybe it's group policy. However, you're restricting those, those programs from being installed. Third assessment point, determine if the use of non-essential programs is restricted, okay, disabled or prevented as defined. Non-essential programs are not allowed to be installed on organizational systems. Uh, deny all permit by exception. That is how we would set it up uh, if we were involved. Um, but again, the idea really is, is that, you know, hopefully you've got some group policy or just general, some kind of policy in place, lots and lots of ways to do it. Um, you know, again, we don't have a sponsorship, so I won't talk about any particular software solutions, but there's lots of stuff out there that allows for, uh, software to be restricted on installation. But if you happen to be called VMware and you want to sponsor one of our videos, we could definitely talk about your solution and how it can solve for a bunch of these NIST controls. Hit me up in the DMs. All right, determine if essential functions are defined. Essential functions are defined by those functions authorized to execute by, and in this case, we're going to say group policy, all right, because that's a great way to do that. Uh, and, you know, there's lots and lots of ways, okay? Uh, lots of ways. You can have third-party programs that set up what can and can't be installed. 
uh, group policies, security groups, OUs, you name it, right? All of that stuff applies. So, hey, and on call, we work with defense contractors just like you who've had this DFARS, NIST, ITAR, and CMMC compliant stuff dropped in their laps like a seagull on a sunny day. We teach you how to level up and be a proper on call compliance hero for your company, eliminating gaps, gray areas, and getting this solved, all while showing you how to leverage compliance as your secret weapon to land more defense work with higher profit margins. Now, that's what becoming an on call compliance hero can do for you. If you're looking for more help getting compliant, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit cmmccompliancesecrets.com or check out the bio below for links to get help right now. If you love the content we're putting out here for you, help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button, or even better, smash the subscribe button to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. Until next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there, and hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance. I'll see you on the next one.